Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today it's just me. I'm going to be doing another nursing school related video today. It's actually a Q&A and I'm so excited for this video. Like, I've been getting tons of questions from a lot of my friends and people I know and everything regarding nursing school and how I'm dealing with it and all of the questions that come with being in nursing school, I guess. And honestly, I feel like so grateful to be able to like help people and answer questions for them so i really hope if you're in nursing school or if you're, or if you're trying to get into nursing school that this video will help you in some way shape or form um that's my goal is to just be able to help people and see if they can relate somehow so i really just want to be able to make sure i can help you guys with any questions that you might have and Maybe this will help you get into the nursing program or this will help you study for the nursing program and just anything for nursing because that's what I want to do. And hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, don't forget to leave a thumbs up before you leave and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so I have all my questions right here on my phone. I'm just going to read them off. And I actually have quite a few questions. Like I have a whole list of questions right here. So the first question is, what is my school schedule? So my schedule for school is Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So on Tuesdays, I have theory, which is like a lecture class. And that goes from 9 a.m. to 2.30. And how it works is we normally lecture for like a couple hours and they give us a few breaks like between 9 a.m. to 12.30 and then at 12.30 usually we go to lunch for an hour, come back and then finish lecturing the last two hours. And then the Thursday and Friday used to be my lab classes. So we would come in at eight in the morning and have breaks throughout the day, but then go to lunch again at like 11.30ish and then come back at 12.30 and then finish the day. Usually we'd get out at 2.30 instead of four, which was a normal time. So now we're in clinicals and we get there at like seven and leave at three about, um, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's a little bit before that, but that's pretty much my schedule right now. So it's Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. And then between on Monday and Wednesday, I normally do some studying or assignments or edit videos or something like that. So that's my schedule. Can I choose my class time? I wasn't able to choose my classes time, my class times, because when we went to the orientation, um, they told us that they had already put us in our classes. Like we didn't really even get to pick the classes because, of course, they have a set like a set schedule for us. So again, I didn't get to choose my classes, but and I didn't get to choose the time. But I mean, it works out for me because you start early in the morning and you finish, and then you're done. You can come home, take a nap, do whatever you want to do, study maybe, and then like you're free for the night or whatever you want to do, you know? So how do I fit in my work schedule? Um, before nursing school started, I was working full time. And what full time for me was, was Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So only three shifts and I would just do that every weekend. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, every weekend. And then that was my full time, um, but now, I dropped down to PRN and I'm only working I think four shifts a, whole, a month like all together so I'm working every other weekend like right now but I can also choose my schedule I can really choose whatever I want my schedule to be because I'm PRN but I do know people who work full-time who have two jobs who work every weekend and still pass their tests in school and have kids and still working and all that kind of stuff and they still make it work so you I feel like you just have to make it something that you can work with like everybody else has a different level of capabilities and mine personally I can't handle a lot so I did choose to drop down to PRN and I am able to manage nursing school and work pretty well so how many hours a week do I have classes so so 20 hours pretty much 20 hours a week which isn't bad but I didn't know that nursing school classes were gonna be like hours long when I got my schedule for lab and I saw eight hours I was like it's a long class but it's really not bad it's really like it goes by fast and you're with your friends all day you're practicing skills all day so it kind of just goes by really fast so um, next question 
What is my favorite part about nursing school? And I think my favorite part about nursing school is having people to bond with, like people that you can relate to because I've met friends at school who stress about the same stuff I stress about, who study just as hard as I study to pass the tests, um, who want to do the same thing in nursing, who are interested in like the bloody and gory stuff. Like it's nice to have people to relate to. I honestly love that. And making new friends, honestly, like I was terrified I wasn't going to make friends and I made tons of new friends. So I'm so blessed. Um, and I think clinicals are also one of my favorite parts, even though there's a ton of paperwork and like determination and work that you have to do. I still think that clinicals is like one of my favorite things too, because you're actually like in your uniform, you're in the clinical setting, you're actually working with real patients and you actually get like a hands-on feel for how things work. Hi, what are you doing? She's my baby. I think he was in my first nursing school video too. How do I manage work, school, and relationships? So this is a good question because it's very hard for me to manage schoolwork, work, and relationships all in the same like circle, I guess. So for me to be able to study as much as I need to study and still show Jakaya the attention that he deserves and the attention that he needs to get and stuff, it's really hard because like nursing school is very important. If you don't pass your test with a certain grade, your grade will plummet. So it's very hard for me. I learned the first few weeks, like every single day I was studying, every single day. And it's not that I don't study like that anymore, but like every single day I was studying and it was very interfering with me and Jakaya um, hanging out and doing stuff together because we were literally hanging out every single day before school started. Um, doing stuff all the time, going out to eat, going to movies, going shopping, like doing whatever we wanted. And now it's like, I can't, I'm studying. And the next day I'm studying and the next day I'm studying. So I feel like it's really hard on a relationship, but as long as your partner knows, hey, like, It'll, it's gonna pay off. You need to study, you need to do what you gotta do. I think you'll be fine. Things have gotten a little bit easier since I've kind of learned how to balance, you know, Jakarta time, school time, work time. So it's very hard, but it's doable. And I also take my book bag with me to work every time I go to work just in case I can study. Not very often does it happen. If I don't even think it has happened one time. Um, but I take it with me anyways just in case I have that like a free 30, 40 minutes that I can just, you know, fit in some assignments. So that's how I do that. What made me choose my school over Rasmussen? Um, I honestly think it was the price range because I did go to Rasmussen's like orientation to see what they were about and I almost died when I saw the price of just their RN program. I personally was so ready to just do it, like get out of the way. I didn't care how much it would cost. I just wanted to get my nursing degree out of the way. Well, I figured, you know, I already have my prereqs done for my school, so why not just keep trying? You know, pass the T's test, take your time, don't rush don't pay fifty thousand dollars for an rn degree and you know what it paid off because i got in i did have to wait a little bit longer than i wanted to and i did have to you know take my time with my prerequisites and everything but again it paid off in the end so regardless i think if you're just wanting to spend a lot of money for an rn degree i mean that's i'm not gonna like down you for doing that that's totally up to you it's your decision but for me personally, I took my time and I waited and I got in. So that's up to you on what you want to do. But I think it's worth the wait to wait to get into a cheaper school. Next question. What is it like starting full-fledged nursing school and how did it how did I find my routine? I personally was very anxious to start. Like the whole first week before school started, I was anxious. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I don't know what to expect. I'm so nervous. 
and then when school started I was like oh this isn't too bad I can do this and it took me like three weeks to figure out my study routine my study habits how I'm gonna do my PowerPoints, how I'm gonna set up my binders and if you guys didn't see the last video I just made a video about how I organize how I study and how I like organize all my tests if that makes any sense so that video I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can go watch that video if you're interested in that like I was anxious to start school and like I have bad anxiety as it is but I was super super anxious but then when I started it was like oh I can do this this isn't bad like I was really excited so the next question did your social life dynamic change now that your whole life revolves around school I think it did change however I didn't have much of a social life before I started nursing school like I didn't go out and party on every Friday or like hang out with friends all the time but I will say that it did change because me and Jakai used to go out and do stuff like every weekend even if it was like just going out to eat like now my my pay is different I'm more busy I'm like my time is taken up a lot more so I would say that my social life did change a little bit but with everybody like everybody else's schedule it's gonna be a little different so don't go off of my work particularly like don't think you're never gonna have a social life because I know people who go out all the time and they don't have a problem passing so it just depends on your lifestyle and how you can handle stress and how you handle like how you balance work school social like all that stuff so I don't think it's too bad but that's it depends on your life and your um, social life and everything like that so mm, 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 mm. what are some expectations you had about nursing school my expectations were that I was never gonna have time to do anything at all like I was gonna be busy 25 8 like constantly all the time and I was gonna be learning and cramming so much information all at one time and I would say that that's right to an extent but not like I'm not studying 25-8, 25-8, 25-8. I'm not like that busy. I do study a lot, but I don't study 25-8. Um, and I'm not cramming as much. We're not cramming as much information as I thought we would. Don't get me wrong, we are cramming a lot, but not as much as I expected. Um, so I would say that I was right about my expectations for nursing school. I expected that it was gonna be a, a lot, like a big workload, and it was. And the last question I have is, what are your best studying techniques? So for me, there's tons and tons and tons and tons of studying like techniques. In my last video, I mentioned just a few of them, which were um, like printing out the PowerPoint, but there's like three slides and then like lines for you to take notes. And then sometimes I print out four slides per page front and back. That way I save paper for one. I can just take notes around the boxes on the pages and follow along with the teacher as she's going. Um, so I do that and then I highlight whatever they say to know. I record lectures that way I can either listen to them on the way to school or just listen to them when I'm reviewing my stuff and take extra notes of something I might have missed. So PowerPoints, um, record the lectures. I take note cards and I write down abbreviations. I use Quizlet for note cards too sometimes. And what I'll do is I'll write down the important like concepts that we need to know. Like for example, the signs of infection. Like there's four different things for that. You can write down each of those on a note card and study that like back and forth. Make sure that you know it. We have a few textbooks. One from the fundamentals textbook itself, it came in like this bundle and it had a study guide and then like some, some little codes for online. So yeah, I basically just do the adaptive quizzing, note cards, listen to my lectures over again and review my PowerPoints and that pretty much does it for my studying, my studying habits and everything. Um, I don't really have any extra um, tips on studying. I think it just matters about how you used to study before. Just carry that over to nursing because I mean it's the same type of 
stuff except you just have to know like select all that apply and um, which answer is more right which can be very difficult but you'll get it if you just stay focused and study the questions and do your homework so yeah if you guys like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up and never get to subscribe before you leave so I will see you in the next video peace